Greetings adventurers, and welcome back to Abnormal Voyages. My name is David, and today we find ourselves in Jackson, Mississippi. We're here at the Mississippi State Fair. It's a little quiet right now, but soon this place is gonna be bustling with happy fairgoers. Let's dive in and see what we can find. Tag along. We're going to a place that you've never heard of before. It's A big part of Mississippi is the agriculture. As you can see by this giant egg behind me, they take it very seriously. We're here in a large building that has tons of different booths set up that goes into all the different fields and things you'll find here in Mississippi. Let's check it out. The love for eggs continues as they talk about how breakfast is a very important part of your day and what better for breakfast than good old fashioned eggs. From there, we are treated to lots of facts about the entire poultry industry in Mississippi and just how important it is for the whole state. They like eggs so much around here that their big college game between their biggest schools is even called the Egg Bowl. But the best part of this section was all the baby chicks you get to see. These little ones were scurrying back and forth, nibbling some food, playing games together, and then there were others that were a little tired from being out at the fair all day, so they were on the sides just trying to take a quick nap and get a snooze in. Of course, chickens aren't the only animal that are important to the farming and agriculture ways of Mississippi. This brings us to the cows. Beef and cowhide products are very important. And just to really be an eye-popping booth, they had this giant inflatable cow standing right in the middle. Now that's not as cute as if they brought real cows in, but I think it still gets the point across pretty well. Moving on from animals, we found a whole section filled with the different seeds of things that are grown here in Mississippi. Personally, I never knew that this wide variety of things grew in this one state, so there was certainly some educational aspects to this. After you got your fill learning what was made here, you got a chance to purchase some of the completely finished and ready-to-go products. There's an entire booth where they specialize in nothing but homegrown Mississippi products. Everything here was made in state. They've got everything here from sauces and snacks all the way up to barbecue seasonings and rubs. I gotta say, Delta Dust sounds good, but you can't beat piggy powder. Like any good state fair, the Mississippi one has an entire section dedicated to local artists who worked hard and sent in their best pieces of art. Let's check out the gallery. It looks like this year was a very comfy year for the arts competition, as all of the entries seem to be quilts and crocheted items that you can wear. There was tons of different colors and patterns, very interesting, very cool to get to see. Something I've noticed about all the state fairs we go to is that the arts competitions always tend to have a little bit of local flair that sets them apart from others. Here in Mississippi, that local flair was having preserved food as a category. Now, maybe this is more common in other states than I'm aware of, but I've yet to be at a state fair where this was something people could compete in. It was very interesting seeing these big jars all filled with different fruits and vegetables, perfectly preserved, and awarded prizes. 
But speaking of food, it was time to step back out into the main fairgrounds and find something tasty to eat for lunch. Like all state fairs, the options are almost limitless. There are tons of unique things to try. Something they're very proud of here is their famous biscuits. They're made right here in front of you, and everybody is always raving about them. And who better to tell us if these biscuits live up to the hype than Blake? Let's head over for another edition of Food Stars. So the first item we're going to try today is what Mississippi State Fair is known for is their biscuits. It has Blackburn brand syrup inside of it. And surprisingly, what you're not going to see at most state fairs, these are completely free. You just walk up and get one. It's actually shocking to me. Yeah, it's just filled in the middle, got the whole um, schematics, nice little gusher almost, but a biscuit. That's yeah, not bad. Not as much syrup as I'd want. Just because it's pretty dry. But, I mean, for free, you can't really complain too much. Overall, not a bad biscuit at all. I'm going to have to say four stars out of five. We are now trying one of the other hot commodities at the Mississippi State Fair, which is chicken on a stick. Sounds simplistic, but they say it tastes amazing. I mean, just the presentation of it alone looks pretty cool. And the frying, it's got a nice crisp, but not too like overbearing, like a chicken tender or chicken strip. It's very light, almost like if it was a uh, catfish frying, but it almost looks like a potato. Unless that is a potato, I don't know. Let's see. Only one way, one way to find out. Well, that is a potato. <laughs> so it's got different pieces of, um, I think this might be an onion. You know, I didn't go to culinary school, but it definitely looks like an onion. Two for two. That looks like chicken. So maybe I'll finally get to try chicken on a stick. We'll see. The frying's still pretty light, which I kind of like better than the heavy duty stuff anyway. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe not as much seasoning as I'd want to make it like a higher rated item than it is, but overall just the fried onions, potato, and the chicken together I would say is four stars out of five. After you've had some of the delicious food on offer, you can head over to the biggest section of the fair, the Midway. I was honestly surprised at the size of this midway. All fairs have them, but here it probably made up about 60 to 70 percent of the entire fairgrounds. So you had plenty of options when it came to fun games to play or thrilling rides to ride. All of your classic midway staples were here, such as fun houses that you could spend a long time running through trying to find your way out. And then awesome games like this here where you're trying to throw your ring around the floating duck. Very interesting. These rides may not be the same size or scale as those that you find in a typical theme park, but they're still a lot of fun. And especially for people who don't happen to live anywhere near an amusement park, this gives them a chance to get out there and still enjoy the day. But while we're here, might as well play a game, right? 
All right, so we are going to play classic midway game, getting the ring around the bottle. We had 50 chances here. I can almost guarantee I am not going to get a single one, but we're here to have fun. So let's give it a shot. All right, we're down to our final four. I'm gonna put this down. All right, here we go. These, these are the lucky four right here. One of these is gonna go on. Am I allowed to throw all of them? Blow, blow, blow. Oh, blow, okay. Here, here, you blow on. Maybe you're luckier than me. There, there we go. All right. Nothing. Oh, all right. Here's the last ring. Here we go. And we won absolutely nothing, but we had fun. Well, adventurers, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tagging along with us here at the Mississippi State Fair. My name is David, and this has been Abnormal Voyages. I'm gonna go work on my ring toss skills so we can get a prize. See you next time.